New York Times reports that you know whose tax records show he didn't pay one cent in federal income taxes for 10 out of the last 15 years uh, before he was president, and that his businesses have been losing really boatloads of money, and he's received almost 73 million in tax refunds. I guess that's why he's being audited, but here's what he had to say about it. It's totally fake news, made up fake. We went through the same stories. You could have asked me the same questions four years ago. I had to litigate this and talk about it. Uh, totally fake news. Now, actually, I paid tax, but and you'll see that as soon as my tax returns. I, it, it's under audit. They've been under audit for a long time. The IRS does not treat me well. That's so much to unpack, man. I mean, what, what were the biggest revelations like for you, Sonny? <laughs> Well, there were so many, Whoopi. Uh, <laughs> one of the biggest revelations, certainly, was that uh, he paid his daughter, Ivanka, uh, I think it was about uh, almost a million dollars in consulting fees, even though she worked for his company, um, which uh, there have been many federal prosecutions for, for that sort of um, sham um, arrangement. So that certainly um, was an interesting revelation for me. Uh, the other really troubling revelation is that uh, President Trump has such a high personal debt. And I, I think he'll soon face several major bills that would put further pressure on his finances. Right now, it seems that he appears to be responsible for $421 million in loans, most of which will come due in, uh, within four years. And I think that really mm -hmm. gives us um, a good window into why he has been um, so um, wonderful with a lot of despots like peop uh, the president of Russia and the president of Turkey and right, the president right. of North Korea, because he owes them. Uh, and I think he thinks he's going to get something in return for that. And I remember when I was at the Justice Department, people could not get security clearance if they had high right. personal debt, if they owe taxes, because right. it really shows that you could be um, corrupted by foreign influence. Blackmailed, yeah. um, and by certain other, right. you could be blackmailed. And um, that should be very troubling to the average American. <coughs> right. Sarah, you think it's bigger than just his taxes? Well, it's not surprising to hear he hasn't been paying taxes. He's kind of uh, shopped that line around that if you're paying taxes, you're not that smart. Um, and I find it interesting and uh, ironic that the people at the rallies support that because those taxes more directly affect their day-to-day -day lives. And the fact that he's not participating in that is concerning not surprising. Um, but I also think it raises the issue of how many more Donald Trumps are out there. Because if this is a, if these tax codes serve the wealthiest among us and they can pay, you know, high powered accountants to find loopholes, how many people aren't paying their taxes? There's a divide of wealth in this country that's concerning. And I support capitalism and I, I'm a, believer that you should make all the money you want, but I think the divide is too great. And I think the fact that we could equalize some of this if the taxes were more fair, a good lawyer would tell you not to sign anything that you can't understand. But I was looking into some of these taxes it's like a 2,600-page document, and even the New York Times article about Donald Trump lost me in a lot of the descriptions of what he's earning and not earning right. and claiming and not claiming. It shouldn't be this confusing. It really shouldn't be. So I think right. it, it alerts us all that we have to, someone has to fix this tax code so we know what we're signing every year when all of us yeah. actually pay our taxes. Well, Joe, I wish you'd take always on giving all this. Tax Republicans are always giving tax breaks to people who don't pay taxes. Yeah. You know, Trump supporters need to know that he is the male version of Leona Helmsley. Only the little people pay taxes. Not, th not that this will change the cult. I don't think it will, because as Mark Twain very famously said, it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. Uh, this is a guy whose father handed him $40 million, and he lost $400 million. And they, they voted for him on the basis of that he's a good businessman? Hello? And by the way, um, <laughs> this $70,000 in hair care uh, deductions, I mean, and that wasn't even <laughs> counting the glue. I mean, right. I'm thinking that maybe in years to come, <laughs> Geraldo will locate these hair products in somebody's vault. I'm hoping for that anyway. Right. I mean, seventy thousand. Well, I have to tell you what's on. what's pissing. It doesn't even look good. I'll tell you what's pi <laughs> pissing me off 
Um, <laughs> my mother, when I was a kid, I told this story four years ago, when he, when we found out that his nine hundred thousand million dollar debt, whatever the hell it was, uh, was forgiven, and he said he was smart because he knew where all the loopholes are. And all I can think of is my mother trying desperately yeah. every year to pay her taxes to the I to the IRS and the IRS coming after my mother because maybe she didn't, she wasn't able to pay all of it, but she could pay some of it. And how they harassed her to make sure mm -hmm. that she paid. And I remember her crying, trying to figure out how to pay these taxes. And I remember that she paid them out year after year because she didn't make all that much dough. She was a and teacher. I don't understand yeah, well, yeah, and I don't understand why my mother had to be harassed, why millions of Americans have to be harassed, and a tax code, as you brought up, Sarah, that was put together by a guy who doesn't pay taxes. So now people who don't have any money because they're working to pay the taxes, because now taxes are everything. You can't write anything off. You can't. You can't. You can't catch a break. I don't understand. He paid you know, seven hundred and fifty bucks, and and my I, I, my mother and and lots you know, of our so families. You know, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it it. You know what, Whoopi? It, it, what you're saying about your mother? It rings so true to me in the fact that. Who are the people in this country who are supposed to pay the taxes? Who are the people who are supposed to pay for the roads and the police department and the fire department? Is it the poor? Is it the working poor? Is it the lower middle, the middle class uh, in this country? Or is, are rich people supposed to pay a lot of that? In my opinion, they make more, we're all so supposed they should pay to do more. It. And it's the opposite. We're, it's the opposite all of what's going on. We're all pay your fair we're all share. supposed to be paying their fair share. And I don't get when you suddenly look and people can't send their kids to camp and people can't buy little bits of things or can't go on vacation because the tax laws are such that they can't write anything off. I don't understand how that works. Why are we having to pay? And exactly. I say we because I work every day like a whole bunch of people. Why, are we, why is it all on us to do this? Where is he? How dare you? How dare you?